thanks for coming to the Style Spot channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing some online shopping together on AldoShoes.com. Let's get to it. One thing I do want to mention is that Aldo Shoes is giving me nada for this. No sponsorships. I'm not being paid to do any of this. Not getting anything. So everything I say is my genuine and true opinion. It's what I really think. All right. Enough of that. Let's do some shopping. In addition to their style and their quality, the reason I wanted to feature Aldo online shopping in today's video is because they have a great sale right now. It's 50% off sale price. You get a 10% if you've never shopped with their with them online before, and then you also get free shipping or free returns if you need to do return. They have a pretty wide selection on AldoShoes.com, everything from casual to dressy, sneakers to sandals. I scrolled through most of them on the women's side and picked out a few classic styles that should go with anything in your wardrobe, and when I say anything, I mean pretty much anything in your wardrobe. All right, let's talk about the Pikedale Stiletto. It comes in black. This is just a really simple classic heel that is not gonna go out of style this season or next season. So I think if you're looking for just a classic black stiletto shoe to go with slacks or with jeans um, or with dresses, Pike Dill is a really good one. Let's talk about Caldea, Caldea? Caldea is a wedge sandal slash wedge heel. What's great about this one is because it's a metallic and a cork heel, it's going to be great for spring, summer. You can, the great thing about tall wedges like this is that you can actually add to your height but kind of hide it. So if you're wearing a pair of long jeans and the jeans cover most of the wedge, you only leave like an inch or an inch and a half maybe showing, then you look taller because you're you know higher up the ground but people don't necessarily know that you're wearing a huge heel. The other thing about this wedge is that it's a platform wedge, so you're not going to feel the height. It's not going to be as severe on your ankle and your knees because you have about an inch and an inch and a half under the ball of your foot, and that makes it less painful to walk on. So you're adding height with, that's less painful and that you can hide if you're wearing jeans, but it's a beautiful shoe. It's a metallic. It's got an ankle strap, so it's not going to move anywhere, and it's super pretty, so you could wear this with dresses or with a pair of um, really pretty cut-off shorts in the summer. It's going to look great and it's going to dress something up if like you're going to a barbecue and you're wearing maybe some denim shorts and a white tee but you want a little bit of height and this is going to be a good one. It comes in gold it looks like. Gold and light pink. Look at Pentire. P-E-N-T-I-R-E. -E. Got a little bit of twin. Pentire. Maybe it I don't know, maybe it's a French word that I don't know. The reason I selected this, I think it's a fantastic stiletto because it has a clear band at the top, so it's not gonna cut you off at the ankle. In other words, you'll get the height, but your leg line will continue down into your foot until almost your toes, so your legs will appear longer and leaner because the top strap is clear. It's $29.98 down from $60 comes in light pink and natural. I would recommend the, uh, the light pink because I think that's going to go with more colors in your wardrobe. It'll be more versatile. Check that one out. Let's talk about one that's under $20. $19.98 Copan. Copan. It comes in navy, black, and nude. This one would be a great one if you work in like a legal office or something. It's got a little bit of hardware. It is a flat. Um, but it's got that little bit of hardware in the front to dress it up. It's a really good one for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. Let's talk about one that I would not necessarily recommend. I haven't tried it on, but I'm going to tell you the qualities that it has that I usually shy away from when I'm looking at heels. The Laura Lilla is a patent shoe. So the material is a patent that's super shiny. When and if your shoes accidentally touch each other, it makes a pretty loud noise which seems really trivial, but it's, it scuffs pretty easily, I've noticed. And then also it's really hot. It does not breathe very well. So if you're gonna try to wear this shoe in the summer, between the shine and, and it marking up easily and then it not breathing very well, I just wouldn't recommend this for a spring summer shoe. Amaranjan is a beautiful alternative. It's a lower heel, so it won't be as severe and painful as stilettos might be. Maybe you can wear stilettos with no problem. For me, I get really, really sore knees when I wear anything over three inches, so Amaranjan is a good 
shoe if you're looking for something that's slightly lower heel. It also has really pretty detail on the heel in gold. I believe it comes in two colors, so if you like it in the bone color, you can order it in the black. I usually go for flats, but I still want to find something pretty and stylish, which is hard to do, and so I end up going with just classic pointy-toed flat shoes, but I want to find something good quality that's going to hold up also. So I ordered Clear Lake in the rose gold and the black. The rose gold is really pretty. It is very pink. In the photos, it looks more gold than pink, but when it came in, it's very pink. And I ordered it in black also. I did notice a slight difference in the size. The black fit a little bit more loosely. And the rose gold, I had to wear it, you know, just around the house for a little bit. If you have wider feet or long toes, then you might want to go a half size up, especially if I think you should wear a little bit of a sock with it, one of those that you can't see. <laughs> the reason I fell in love with Aldo was for their sneakers and then their sneaker wedges. They have a really fun one right now called Sassafras. It's got a plastic material on the side, see-through, it's got snakeskin print, it's got that fun, um, thick sole at the bottom that gives you height. I think it's really fun. I didn't order it Sassafras, um, even though I was tempted to just from the name alone, such a fun name. But in the summer, I feel like if it's 104 degrees, so let's get real, it's gonna get really hot and you can't wear a sock, right? Because it's a clear shoe, but then your feet are getting hot. And so I just couldn't reconcile not wearing socks, but then if you wear socks, it defeats the point of the clear. So I'm still going to keep an eye, um, look through the rest of the sneakers and see if I can find something with just as much personality that's a little bit more practical to wear. The sale that Aldo has right now is really great. You can get maybe two to four pairs of shoes from the same price as what you would have paid for one pair. But to keep from going crazy and buying everything on the website, what I did was I thought about what's practical. What socks am I going to wear with it? What seasons can I wear it in? What colors are these shoes going to go with? Can I wear it in the office, but then also out at night? Can I wear it dressed up or casual? And so looking at these criteria will help you stay within budget, hopefully. Another thing I would recommend is sticking with one must-have and then leaving room for a wild card. So if your budget is $70, then maybe you pick two pairs of flats that you can wear to work every day for 20 bucks each, so that leaves you about 30, so then you've got 30 bucks for a really fun like sneaker or a sneaker wedge. If you haven't tried a sneaker wedge, let me tell you, they're really cute. I ordered a pair of nude sneaker wedges, and I love them, and I wore them to death, and then I ended up ordering a second pair of the same style in black. Unfortunately, I don't know what it was about that pair, but it hurt my knees so much that I wore them once and then I had to give them away, which was really sad. Happy for my friend, sad for me. If you love a sneaker or any shoe and it comes in two colors, keep in mind that there can be size differences between two shoes. When you get your shoes in, keep the packaging, you know, nicely. Don't just toss the packaging everywhere in case you need to send it back. I would recommend trying, trying it on late in the day or in the evening because that's when your feet are going to swell and you know walk around your house with it hopefully on carpet make sure that it's a good fit and then if you need to send it back send it back Get something else right all right thanks so much for joining me for online shopping on all those shoes i hope you had a great time and picked up some tips and tricks if you like the video give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell and subscribe if you're not already subscribed thanks so much see you next time